In the last and final chapter, we find the boys' nerves are on edge as they go through their sound check. And why wouldn't they? As this is the same stage where they played their first show together, as well as it's been a tradition to start off each two of them. And then we get the rarest fact of all. The Zucchini's backstage, both before they go on, and then after the show. Enjoy. Yes, and here we are. Outside the zucchini homeland. Yes, it is if they are coming home. Zucchinis. Saul Fishberg's Saul Enclosure. Yes, the flying zucchinis. That is the outside of the club. Yes. Hello, Michael. So, gentlemen, how are you feeling today? Very good. Look, I went to Hollywood today and got myself a new tattoo. What do you think? Oh. Mike's got his camera. Show him, baby. Scotty and I both did. What? So here you are at your birthplace, a stage west. Huh? What do you think? Just had it done. Set everything up, you can't play it for another four or five hours, man. You just tell me what you want in like five minutes for the gig, you know what I'm saying? Ever the zucchini humor is present. You're playing one of your old favorites, Abacab. Is that true? I'm not allowed to play anything tonight. I'm just going to be humming it all tonight, as a matter of fact. It's a whole new... This is just merely a facade. If you look behind... But is it true line, that you were the one humming on the B side of that first single? Was that you? You found me out. Yes, you found me out there. Unfortunately, they had the overheads on too loud, I think, for mine. My... In the Highlands, you know, they use that song to uh, put the, uh, the sheep to... Uh, Put them asleep, as it were. Wait, don't talk about sheep with me, because I don't have my boots on today. You know? Oh, oh, yes, so was, sorry, so sorry. In that one incident, I was merely pushing the sheep through the fence. Yes, the yes, song. lad, un understood, understood, yes, of course, of course. And I brought myself a little vodka. Well, look at all these uh, speakers. Well. It's a staff like any other, man. Don't stare at it. Don't even touch it. Now we're getting a glimpse of the legendary backstage area. Of course, there are no women, no Most wine, no song yet. I, I do have clearance for this, lads. Uh, your press department did give me the release form to sign. Oh, it is a wonderful area. That was the guy that kicked me out of Right before you go on, Johnny, have you any words for your audience? I think that I'm going to call it quite healthy tonight. That's wonderful, that's wonderful. I'm very nervous. I'm sure you're that. great. Hey, wait. Let me see you. I'll show you. Which, Scott, or Mike? Which box of shorts would be better for my head? Door number one or door number two? I believe door number two. Chilies. Matches the red in your eyes. Right. Matches my are you turning up, are you, Scott? Uh -huh. How are you? Did you just turn your amplifier up? Lovely, lovely. I'm sure it will be great. Well. <laughs> 
so this is the end of the night here. Yeah. We finished fucking up as much as possible on stage there. My hands, look at my hands. My hands are totally fucked up now. How do you feel about your performance? I feel it's all on a scale of 1 to 10. It was about a uh, 0.5, something like that. But I got some good reviews. Let me take you on a tour here of, of backstage. This is, this, is, this is what we breathe. This is what, what, we, what we breathe out there on stage, you know? Oh yeah, is it special air that they pump out yes, for you? Yes, it has cigarettes, but and uh, smoke and shit like that. Oh yes, there. yes, very good. Yes, that way. So it truly is a rock and roll air. Totally rock and roll edge and air to the whole thing here. They that's that's a, wonderful. We we wonder why you always return here once a year, <laughs> like clockwork. Because they love us here. We might sound like hell, but still, people love us here. They just, you know, we packed them in. Did you see? We had 20 or 30 people out there tonight. Yes, I, I was out there. I saw it. It was after Yes, it was wonderful. Hello. So the fly. Hello. Uh, Hello I had to find the key to my handcuffs so I could take this belt off. I'm sitting there <laughs> taking a leak, and I got to hold on to this belt out of the way. Fucking it's all Fishberg. It's Mr. Fishberg. Is, is he done? He's gone. <laughs> he was here. We actually had a had Saul here. You he don't have a Cockney accent at all. No, I and, can't even. And then take this road. Oh my God, here it is. There. So are the zucchinis done? Are they going to go out for an encore? The audience is out there screaming. Oh no, wait, I'm sorry. That's just music They're playing. They're loading. <laughs> yeah. Yes! We're backstage, hey, do you mind? Are you guys going to play anymore? I doubt it. Yeah, but I'll send you a videotape. Well, if you're going, I'm gonna get my shit. Let's hear it once again for Ralph. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, put yeah, your yeah, hands yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. Let's hear it for Ralph. Who locked the fucking door? I was trying to get in here for 10 minutes. <laughs> I didn't even know it had a handle on it. We did that so the masses Oh, we have the Yeah, the fucking guitar case. I'm like, shit, I can't get in. This is We had that so the masses were coming in. I couldn't even do it. I couldn't do it. But with only two weeks left on the tour, Mikey left the barn and returned to his crow ranch in Tennessee. Four hours after arriving home, an F4 tornado came through Birdsville, wiping up most of the town. Four days later, Michael's home was found intact, but he was found dead. He was found stuck on his barbed wire fence with his crows resting on his outstretched arms. It was so hideous looking that the zucchini family bought all the pictures and had them burned. They were that hideous. Well, that's it for this edition of Lost Tapes. Join us next time when Lost Tapes brings you Legs Diamond. I'm Sean O'Shaughnessy. Good night. <laughs>